This is Donald Parham of the L.A. Chargers, and you're listening to Chargers Unleashed, part of the L.A. Football Network. Stay jiggy. Three, two, one. This is Chargers Unleashed Podcast. Here are your hosts, Dan Wolfenstein and Jake Heffner. Welcome to another edition of Chargers Unleashed. This is Dan Wolfenstein here from the LA Football Network. I am coming to you live from the Radio Row at Super Bowl 56. Myself, as well as a few folks from LA Football Network, have you covered with all kinds of special guest episodes and guests that have come in to join us as we sit here with all of the media at Radio Row for Super Bowl. Obviously, we wish the Chargers were here but they're not but good news some of the chargers actually are and we actually had a chance to sit down with austin eckler the guitar man himself who sat down with myself and a few others from la football network to talk about the chargers what to expect in 2022 with this new team what they need the mentality that they need to have going into the new season and so much more austin eckler thank you so much for joining us this has been such a fun fun day uh can't wait for you guys to hear this one you guys are gonna have a lot of fun And uh, without further ado, Austin Eckler, number 30 from your Los Angeles Chargers, joins Chargers Unleashed and LA Football Network live at Radio Row. Coming up next. Live from Radio Row in Los Angeles, California, LA Football Network has you covered for the latest football news, podcasts, and interviews all week featuring Ryan Dyrude, Ryan Anderson, Dan Wolkenstein, Will Decker, Jamal Madney, and Nick and Dean Vespi. Our city, our network, our Super Bowl. This is LA Football Network. All right. Live from Radio Row, we are here as LA Football Network with one of the legends in LA. We've got the one and only guitar man himself, Austin <laughs> Eckler from the Chargers. Cool, Austin, baby. thanks for joining us. How you doing? Yeah, thanks for having me on. No, it's been it's been great. Just jumping around some of the booths, you know, talking some talking some ball, talking some life on Radio Row. This is my first time being on Radio Row during the Super Bowl, so it's been a Ooh, great. Okay, like, this is like me though. Like I've been doing so much engagement, so this is like heaven for me. Like right? this is like my almost Super Bowl, right? Even though that I'm not in it. Oh yeah, I mean I see you all the time and what. We'll talk about all kinds of stuff. We'll talk about Brandon Staley. We'll talk about Justin Herbert, the Chargers, the draft, the Super Bowl. But I think the part that I think I love most about you is kind of how you connect with the community. I know you got the Austin Eckler Foundation that you're always doing. You're always doing Twitch. You're always, now you're doing football. stuff with Ikes. Like, what's your, yeah, like, what oh, yeah. keeps you going? I feel like you got to have, like, instant caffeine in the morning. It yeah. goes all the way through the day. <laughs> I, don't, I think just the involvements are my caffeine. Like, I'm just involved in so many cool things. With the underlining, like, idea of all of them are just helping people and connecting with people. Uh, whether it's my foundation, whether it's fantasy football, whether it's, you know, my workout videos or workout tips I do online, um, you know, just everything that I'm involved in is about connecting people, trying to help people help themselves so we can all become the best version of ourselves, right? And so I think that's really what it comes down to. That's been my message just coming from, you know, where I came from to now and so many people asking me about it, right? So many people ask me about it all the time, like, hey, what do you do? What's your mindset? Like, what are the things that I could do? Um, and so I'm like, well, mm-hmm. let me let me look back on myself. And I started pulling all these tips out. And that's why I started like connect. I was like, I'm actually impacting people. Um, and I thought that was pretty special. So I've just been building on that ever since. I love it. I think that's important. A lot of people kind of wonder about like people's why. And then when you have someone like you who kind of started from not nothing, but started from somewhere lower. And all of a sudden now you're at the pinnacle. Now yeah. you've got most touchdowns, in the NFL is running right. back, yeah. getting snubbed from the Pro Bowl. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what they're right. thinking. Right. But like, I think it's important to kind of show the resilience and kind of have your why of kind of like your foundation for actually succeeding i guess speaking of success you crushed it this year the chargers did well unfortunately the last game heartbreaker for all of us uh talk to us about just the chargers season what you're excited for this kid you got in justin herbert like how are you feeling about this team now that you've had kind of a what a month or so to kind of let everything kind of sit yeah you know i think the team like the team's gonna be so different you know i think we had the pieces to really be successful this year but we were too inconsistent um, so you know how it goes every single year. We've got a, you know, a whole new group of guys coming in. Um, that's how it goes. Um, it's like 30 guys, too. It's not like, a, like oh, the, same, the team's going to carry over. Um, it's like 30 guys that are free agents that we're going to have to deal with. Um, so that will be interesting coming in. But the core group of guys that do remain, uh, I think it's going to be really important. And I know I'm going to be putting this message out there. But it's like we got to play like our backs against the wall every single play. Mm-hmm. Like 
Like, it's fourth down every single play. You know, Coach Day is going for it on fourth down. We know that. Look, you saw us in the Raiders game, the last one. You know, mm. on fourth down, we were lights out. Yeah, Lights out on fourth down. And it, it's because you have an edge. You feel like you're on the edge, right? Like, oh, I fall one way, I go off the cliff. I can stay on the cliff, though, if I, you know, execute. And so we, I'm going to be trying to get that feeling in every single person mm. on the team because we got to have that. Stay on the cliff. Because if we have that, then we execute. When we don't, maybe it's up and down goes both ways yeah you're gonna lose some sometimes you know this is nfl everything's very competitive but when we have that edge i think we play the best and i see the best come out of justin too Oof. um who's gonna be you know you know a really good football player as he continues to grow in his career <laughs> yeah well yeah what was the first moment you guys saw as teammates that herbert was kind of the guy like you're just like man this guy's got a hose coming in there <laughs> high draft pick but he's got to earn the respect in the locker room just like anybody else when was oh, that yeah. moment for you oh yeah and yeah high draft pick and also playing quarterback you know yeah so, like that's that's a you know a job that comes with a lot of uh you know expectations and responsibility and just seeing him early in his career just seeing him have the talent was definitely reassuring uh but you don't really know what they're going to be able to do because there's so much mental game to it like talent's great but how is he going to perform under pressure how is he going to be able to you know change plays you know call the plays you know react to things react to things that are good react to things that are bad like all the mental things you can't really measure in practice and so once he started getting some real game reps last year mm. um and just having success keeping a cool head being the same person same competitive guy he always is it's like okay this guy's got what it takes to actually continue to be a really great quarterback over his career he's got all the pieces as far as what i've seen from you know philip what i've seen from some of the guys around the league and just mm. how he cares so much about what he's doing that's amazing and and austin well how do you feel about kind of obviously you talked about the turnover but team next year from your perspective what's what sort of a piece or an area that you you'd like to see sort of added to to take the charges to that next level it's that mindset it's the mindset of the edge that i talked about that's that's what it is it's not necessarily that we need to go out and get all these guys because our team mm. wasn't talented now we have a lot of talent on our team uh, and I'm sure, you know, Tom Telesco is going to go out and find some more for us. Um, but for our core guys, we're ready to go. Like, we just got, what is it? It's not that we're not good players. We know we are. We have the talent. You know, that's why these guys are getting paid so much. Right. You know, that's why I get paid, <laughs> right? Because I've shown that I can be consistent. But it's now it's the edge. we got to play like this is it, right? Mm -hmm. it, whatever that edge is, and that's I'm going to be putting the message in. People got to buy into it, right? The team's got to buy into that. Like, yeah, can, I think we will because that's what our coach's message is too because he's going for it on fourth down. We're going. Fourth and four, fourth and nine. Yeah, we get Who it. Who cares? Yeah. We, got the, we got the guys to get it. We right. get that. You know, um, and so people got to buy into it, you know, and so it's one of those things where it's like, oh, if you if it works, you know, you're a hero. But if it doesn't work, people are like, ah, you know, and so that's where the media starts getting involved. And, you know, people start like, oh, is he too aggressive? <laughs> for us, it's just noise. Like for us, we know we can get it. Got it. All right. Last question before we get you out of here, Austin. So Chargers coming up, big draft season coming up. We've got all kinds of free agency stuff. Like what do the Chargers need? Is part one. Part two, does Brandon Staley bring a different atmosphere to this team? Is this team different than we've seen in the years past? Oh, what do we need? That's a big question because it depends on who we bring back, right? We, you know, we got a lot of guys mm -hmm. that are coming up. You know, Kaiser White, Justin Jones, um, you know, Chenna Nuosu. Mike Williams. Mm -hmm. Mike Williams, yep. Uh, Derwin James is going into his fifth year. Mike, yeah, like you said, Mike. So, I mean, uh, Jared Cook, our tight end, he was on a, a one year or so. And so, like, there's so many different pieces that yeah. are like what are we gonna do right but <laughs> all those yeah all these guys have been playing well too so they're gonna be asking right and that you know how football works there's still a business so we have a salary cap that we have to abide by um so i'm not really there's no telling it's really tom <laughs> you got your hands full man um and what was the second question i forgot just about brand stanley and the mindset is this, oh yeah is this team different yeah. oh yeah definitely different it's the same it's still the chargers like we're still the same like team name is still same culture because we haven't changed that yet i don't feel like uh but as far as changing it we definitely have the pieces with our head coach right and that's kind of the resemblance of what we're going to be looking forward like what's going to be coming right that's it's not cool. what we've done because we have to go out and do it first but uh because right now to everyone else we're still the same old chargers but if you want to make a change brandon says i feel like is the start of that Love it. We're talking to Austin Eckler. Austin, thank you so much for yeah, coming out here. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for the time with us. This has been fun. Good luck next season. Can't wait to see all those electric guitar celebrations. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, get it. Let's go. All right, Austin, awesome. thanks so much. We'll talk all to right, you soon. Thanks right? so much, Thanks, Austin. Appreciate